full trigger. Stop. Read. 46 miles an hour. No rider. Oh, it had a gyro speed wobble. Yep, death wobble. Read at 63 miles an hour. All right, welcome back. So we have it back out here testing. Track, start, stop, read. All right, GPS showing 12 satellites. Track, turn on our remote. Turn on RSC. DX to zero. Turn the flywheel on. Let's start the GPS. Start. It's testing. Want to see if uh, this is fixed. It is on 3S because that's the one I'm having problems with. The road's pretty quiet because it is Sunday. Oh, I lost it up over the hill. And there's a truck coming. Man, I don't see it. if that's it by that driveway Oh, it went into the driveway. I 
I turned and never even saw it. Stop 65 miles an hour. I knew it was going to go faster. I did see a bit of a speed wobble. But I wanted to drag it out. Start. Read. Let's stop. Zeroed out. Track. Testing. Make another run. And I'm going to stand up on the hill this time. I don't know how I uh, missed it. I do know that I turned left. Because I wanted to, uh, to turn around. car was coming so I did stop a little earlier it does have a bit of a speed wobble which I think is uh, probably gyro related back to back runs just to back it up. We'll stop and read it here. Stop, read, 65 miles an hour again. So 100%, it has gotten more stable. Here comes a car. Another car. This is the slow time of day. So, from what I hear, there's fluid, steering dampening fluid in that steering wheel, and that's probably what I saw leaking. So, we're probably going to stiffen that up because there still is a little bit more speed wobble. And before I can start gearing it, I have to get rid of that speed wobble. But it has a bit of a shake and then it smooths right out. And I think what I need to do is uh, stop that gyro. I need to pin that gyro. 11 miles an hour on that one. Let's turn this off. So I need to pin that gyro. So that I can uh, make sure that there isn't any more slop in that steering wheel probably balance the front wheel and uh, I'm gonna throw the rider back on will be the next thing but 65 miles an hour um, is this now the world's fastest Pro Moto MX back-to-back -back runs confirmed driving it back you guys tell me our goal to 100 is looking very, very good. Very promising at this point. 
because I know I can gear up and gain 20 miles an hour. But am I going to be able to gear it up enough to go 100? Locking the slipper clutch. Probably add a little bit more. And maybe play with the spur or the center gear. So, but first thing we're going to do, get it back on the bench. We're going to find out if there's fluid in this steering dampener because it is leaking. If you look right here, there's fluid coming out of this section here, which that means there's fluid somewhere in here. And if that means if there's fluid and it's leaking, and it's probably leaking from all the shaking, we're going to up that fluid rate to stiffen that up because we don't need soft steering. We just need it to hold true. And then I'm going to bind it to the DX5C. So change out the fluid, bind it, come out and run it again. And if the wobble is completely gone, we're going to start gearing up. But there we go. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video. It's always about testing. You have to get out there and test. It's the only way to do it. That's the bad part about speed runs is you're only here for a minute or two and you got to go back to the workbench and try something different. But there we go. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. And today's super thanks goes to at Jeremy Stewart 1785. Definitely appreciate the support, brother. Then we have at Tim Custom RC. Appreciate you supporting several videos. It really does mean a lot. Then we have at RC Nurse. Appreciate you supporting the last video on the repair of the steering servo saver. Definitely appreciate it. Anybody that can support and does support, I do appreciate it. Thanks a lot.